you know, the form of the differential equation, right, the book prime, which is d squared, right, the x squared, plus p, I thought it's going x times y prime, this is dy by dx, plus q, I thought it's x times y, f, that's the function x, we did it in the homogeneous, uh, this is the inhomogeneous term. If this is zero, then this becomes a homogeneous equation. And we, we uh, talk about some method, like a serious method to find a solution for that one. And then uh, if you find one, you can also use the other formula to find the second equation, second homogeneous solution. Now, if you have the inhomogeneous term, then uh, the question asks you to show this particular form is uh, a solution. And what it means is that what a particular solution is that uh, it's not unique because uh, this whatever this is, y sub p, you can add another homogeneous equation and it's still the same. Then it still satisfies the whole equation, right? Because whatever the part, uh, homogeneous equation satisfies, this is zero, so you can add the arbitrary homogeneous equation to your particular solution, so that would be another particular solution. So particular solution is not unique, okay? So, uh, so as long as it satisfies the whole equation, that would be fine. So what we try to show is that uh, this y, uh, which your textbook calls y sub p in the question, but uh, you can just simplify it just like y, this of this form y2, which is one of the two homogeneous solutions. We'll integrate x, y, one. S is the integration where we divide by the one screen, w. That's the function of one. Function of one. That's the first term, and the second term is y. Uh, f you have a minus sign. The two, two terms are the form that's similar. This is y2, y1, this is y1, y2, but there's a negative sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. what you can see if this is a, a solution, you just put in graphics here. And before you do that, of course, you, you need to know all the solutions. You know this, what this y1, y2 is. The round scheme is just uh, y1, y2, y1 prime, y2. That's the determinant of this. Combination, yeah. so then now uh, to put this back to the equation, we need to take the data of this one. So we want to get y one pi, a uh, y pi. Okay, we take the data. The, we have two terms, and each term we have two factors. One is the just the also. Homogeneous equation, this is y sub p, this is y sub one. The other one, the integral. Okay. So, and just do it one at a time. So, for this term, you have two, you get two, two terms. The beauty of the first term, we give you two terms. And the beauty of that, the second term, we have another two terms, and all together, you have four terms. Okay. So, you have y2 prime. That's a function of x. And then multiply whatever that. Simplify the writing, I'm writing the explicit all these uh, variables. Okay, we just understood that. And then the second one is taken the of this integral, and we keep this factor, the y2x. And when you take the integral, this is uh, a, the only variable, only dependence on x in the limit, and then it, it is in the upper limit. 
So when I take the derivative, basically you substitute, uh, substitute x into all the integration variables. Okay. That's how you do a derivative with respect to the integral with the dependence on this uh, variable you want to take the derivative. Okay. Now you substitute that into here. That will give you y1 x divided by that Okay, so that's how you can do the derivative of the first term. Now the second term is the same. So this is Okay, and then now to the derivative of the, this integral. I'm writing these explicitly because uh, don't get confused. This now it becomes a function x, not function s. S is the integration variable. After you deal with the derivative, you you have no S, okay, yes. Okay, now uh, then we need the second integral, a uh, second derivative, but the, before we do that, we, we saw that uh, there's a cancellation because this is y2, y1, f, and then divided by w, this is y1, y2, f divided by w, and this is, there's a negative sign, so this one cancels. It's okay. So this means my limit is zero. So in fact, to just two terms. Or you throw the derivative, you get four terms, but two terms cancel. Back to two terms. Okay. Now you can do the same thing. You get pi double pi. Again, you have two terms, and each one have two factors, so you have four terms. Now this becomes y two double pi. Okay. Now do the same thing. This one to the duty of this exactly this one, which we cross it out, but uh, it's just exactly the same. Okay, and then take a view of the second one. The first one is y1 double prime. And the second one is y1 prime. And then the derivative of this one is exactly this one. Okay. Now uh, you have double uh, the double pi, and now you don't actually uh, get a full cancellation. This one is not exactly this one. This is y two pi y one y minus y one pi y two. So you don't cancel to each other. This become cancel, but there's a simplification because this duty is. Y one pi, y one, y two pi minus y two, right? So that's W. And now uh, we compare with this one. If you add these two terms, you have y two pi y one minus y one. Oh, this is y one, y one pi y two, and that exactly this one, the negative of this one. So combine this one will give you a negative W times F divided by W, which is which will give you a minus F. Right. Should I get a plus F? Oh, okay. uh, why will you want to put it in? 
No, no, this is why when I do this, this way. So it's actually get your as well. This is why when I, I wear it in different orders. So it's confusing. So this is uh, this is actually W. This one minus this one. This two term combined with that becomes W times F divided by W. So it's just F. That will give you the F that you want. Okay. So I can just write here. So combine this with that. So we just F. Oops. Okay, that disappear. Okay, now you can uh, put everything back. So y two pi, y pi, and y put it here. Okay, now before you do that, uh, you you uh, use the fact that yes, this is a linear equation. It's a proportional height y double pi because the y pi is proportional to y. And all three of these, the rest of this goes through in that one, and then you have this one and that one, and that one. They all have the same factor. This is what we've got in the, this one, and this one, and this one, they are the same. This one and this one and this one are the same. So you can hold this common factor out right, after you substitute it into here. So, that becomes the uh, hold this common factor out and this one becomes uh, uh, this is y2 double pi and that's e y1 pi that's q y1 and then hold the common factor that is one. Yeah. Okay. And then the other term is this one, this one, and this one all are negative, and then they are the same factor. Okay. The same thing. Thank you. And then y two f okay. So combining this term, this term, this term into this into this term, right? And then finally, just okay. And now the the last step is to use the fact that y one. Uh, this is y2. Uh, oh, this is y2. Y2, 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 this is y2. Y2, 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 So by definition, so we choose y1 and y2 satisfy. The homogeneous equation would be set this to zero. This is zero. So y1 put in here and will satisfy the whole same equation to zero. So this is this one. This one is zero. Because it's a whole solution for the homogeneous equation. Likewise, y2 is also a homogeneous, a solution for the homogeneous equation. Which one you can see. Okay. And so all you all you are getting out of this is this an F, which is what you want, because uh, you want to show that you put this solution into this uh, the left hand side will give you F which is the right hand side. Is that okay? Sean, do you do you get the uh, you follow? All right. <laughs> so I I guess the confusion, maybe uh, you don't know how to start. Maybe uh, the textbook method, maybe a slightly more, more convoluted. You need to solve for the U and then the, and then put it, get to the form and to, to show that this uh, solution. But uh, what I would do and my preferred method would be just 
put it back to the equation. I guess that I, I was saying it's easier. Okay. All right. More questions? This F is this combination. This one and that one add to F, and then you put it back to T. Right? This is like a book point. Right the point is this one, this one, and then these two add up to F. This, you, you saw this, how these two add up to F. Okay, so this is y1, y2 pi minus y2, y1 pi, which is set with the wrong screen here. And then you divide it by 30. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, here enough. And the rest of the this uh, exercise would be um, using the formula. I mean, it does help use the formula. Sometimes, uh, well, it's easy to check a uh, particular solution like the 7.7.2. .7 Clearly, y, y equals to one is a solution, right? Uh, if you look at your exercise, you don't have to go through all the uh, process of substitute the uh, finding y1 and y2, which is easy, but that one is just a simple harmonic oscillator. And then put in the integral and do all that to get the particular solution. Because if you can guess one particular solution, that would be it. Uh, because, uh, I, like I said, the particular solution is not unique. Um, whatever one you get. That would be it. Uh, that would be a web pop up, uh, a totally valid uh, particular solution because uh, if you have another particular solution, they will be uh, there will be a difference of between the two particular solution will be solution of the homogeneous equation. So it doesn't matter. Okay. The general solution will have a the general solution will have a unknown coefficient. So C1 was C2 was C2, and then a particular solution, right? What means that you can always find C2 prime, C, a C1 prime, C2 prime, and not the particular solution. So the particular solution is not unique, but the, because the, the coefficient can change. So the difference between like y, yp and yp prime I, sh I shouldn't use one because the time means that the yeah, like like y, yp two. These two particular solutions, you just subtract the two. If they are the same, you subtract the two. Then the, the whatever the difference is just a combination of the homogeneous solution. So it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, it just changes this confusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, like if you can guess one, then you by all means just guess it. Right? Like the first one is actually particular trivial. I mean seven point seven point two is particular trivial because you can just look at that and see y equals to one with this solution. Right? A particular solution. Right. 